This is a chair. Upside down, still a chair. Backwards, indeed, still a chair. Your brain gets it. It's a chair no matter how it's turned. Because your brain is wired for survival, not for spelling tests. This shortcut is called mirror generalization. It helps you recognize a lion no matter which way it's facing. But it's a problem when you're five and learning that B and D are not just a shape flipped. One's a sound, while the other's a totally different letter with its own sound. C, B, D, P, and Q are made from the same two shapes, a line and a circle. The only difference is which side that circle is on. And the difference? Your brain has to learn that it matters. So when a child reverses a letter, it's not laziness or carelessness, it's literally biology. Their brain is still learning how to care about direction. Most kids figure this out by age seven. Some need longer, but rushing it or throwing all four look-alike letters at them at once? That's not helping. In this series, we'll break down when reversals are normal, when they matter, and how to actually support the skill behind the mistake. Follow along and maybe put the chair down before someone gets hurt.